Good morning, my Sin City crew. I'm back again with another video, y'all. So, I got the call this morning. My cousin passed away, you guys. So, keep us in your prayers. That's all I'm asking. Uh, her sister texted me about 1041 this morning and told me that she had passed away. We didn't go see her yesterday because... Uh, you know, it was Thanksgiving and everything, and I was so busy cooking, and we didn't expect her to live this long, y'all. But like I told her sister, we just got on FaceTime, you know. I don't, I didn't want to really just see her suffering like that. She was really suffering, y'all, laying there hurting, you know. And because if I was in that situation, I wouldn't want nobody to let me sit there and suffer as well, you know. They, they took her all for the. The feeding tube, like I said, that was two Fridays ago. So she really did good, y'all. You know, she really did good. They had on that morphine for so long. So the morphine was helping the pain. You know what I'm saying? I got my mask on because I'm at work and people constantly coming in and out. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to come and do a quick video and let everybody know that, yeah, my cousin, she passed away uh, this morning. So keep us and her family in prayers, y'all, up, uplifted in prayers, because we gonna need it. And also, uh, condolence to uh, my friend Pam, uh, Sexy Red, AKA Sexy Red. Uh, her mom passed uh, last week as well. So keep her family in prayers as well, you guys. Yes. Hold on, y'all, my daughter. What's up, bro? Ain't no more? Nope. Where you at? Crawl about your house. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart for a shirt. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Hey mama. Hold on, I'm doing a video. What's up? Don't say nothing to uh I'm not. What um uh, what what other milk you I mean what other kind you say? Uh the Eagle brand. Nah, what other kind you say? The condensed? Uh, not evaporated milk, right? No, I got that. That's for my sweet potato pie. I have some of that at home. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm doing... So, I fixed four sweet potato pies yesterday. My daughter gonna come get two. She's gonna bring me some sweet potatoes and the crust and everything. And I'm just fixing me two more. I fixed the best sweet potato pies. My daughter said, my God, I have some. So I'm gonna fix two more when I get out of work today. And I'm just letting her have, I fixed four. So I'm letting her get two of the ones I got at the house, you know. Yep. So what everybody cook for Thanksgiving? Happy belated Thanksgiving, y'all. I know I didn't come on yesterday and do a thanksgiving video but happy belated thanksgiving to each and every one of you guys i love y'all especially the ones that love me you know but yeah y'all uh i bet i had got some bad news this morning yeah my cousin passed away that was my friend slash cousin slash best friend because that was my girl like i said she'll call and talk crazy and and I'll cuss her out and she'll cuss me out and we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's what cousins and family do. We get mad at each other, stop talking, but we still love each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to uh, agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to agree with everything she said. She wasn't going to agree with everything I said. So, you know, it caused a problem, but we was okay. You know, just like me and my sister used to do. Boy, we used to argue like cats and dogs, baby. Argue and fight. So, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and let y'all know. And like I say, yeah, my uh, my girl, Six Red, AKA Pam, Pam, AKA Six Red. I always say that. Uh, her mom passed on the 19th. So, yeah, that was last week, right, y'all? Yeah, I think that was last week. But anyway, she called and let me know that her mama had passed away as well. They had put her on hospice as well, like a week after they put my cousin on hospice. And uh, she passed before my cousin passed. But she was an older, you know, 
a woman and everything. So, but she lived a long, good, beautiful life. She was such a beautiful person, y'all. I'm talking about Pam, mom. She was such a beautiful person inside and out. And that makes a difference, you know, to people. When people pass away, if you have been such a great inspiration toward people and so loving and kind. I went to that lady house probably three times in my life. And every time I went over her house, y'all, she treated you so good, welcomed you with open arms, beautiful home, just so sweet and nice, you know. She was such a beautiful person. Yep, but she lived a long, good life. That's one thing I can say. You know, you know, I'm talking about two at one time. So let's jump back to my cousin. She was a loving person too. Pam was a cancer like me. My cousin, her name was Pam as well. Uh, she was a cancer like myself. And, you know, she was just a very outspoken person, just like myself. We can be the sweetest people, but we can be the meanest people if you make us that way. You know what I'm saying? So if you made her mean, that's what she was. But if you let her be kind and sweet, that's what she was. But she was a fighter, y'all. I'm telling y'all, they took her off the feeding two, two, two Fridays ago. As a matter of fact, two, this is the second Friday today, because today is Friday. And they took her off the feeding tube, and uh, she just passed away, y'all, this morning. So she held on a long time. She was a fighter, you know. She, she was that. She was a fighter for sure. She didn't want to go nowhere. But like I was telling her sister, good morning. Like I was telling her sister. You know, she, she fought for a long time, but she had to let go, you know. Yep, she had to let go at some point. Because once you stop eating, that's pretty much it. That's what they say now. I don't know. I never dealt with anybody in hospice. We never got a chance to put my mom in the hospice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she didn't get to that point. Uh, when she got COVID, it just really took my mom out. You know what I'm saying? So, And that's why I'm so big on safety and protecting yourself and wearing these masks and stuff. Because I know... You know, even though you've been vaccinated and my mom was vaccinated, it still took her out because she was already sick. See, that's what it, that's what it worked on, the sick. You know, if you already got a sickness or something like that, it really, really, you know, works on you, that COVID does. And that's why I don't, I don't think I have a sickness. I have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. That's all that I have ever been diagnosed with. Uh, I think I, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure three years ago and high cholesterol last year. So, as far as I know, I didn't been in the hospital. They didn't did all kinds of blood work, all kinds of tests on me. I'm good. I just have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So, even with that, you know, COVID work on those people as well. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I, I'm on a, a healer as well because I had, I had an upper respiratory infection in which I thought it was uh, COVID in, in 2019 before it ever uh, came out. You know what I'm saying? So, with that upper respiratory infection, you know, I wheeze a little bit sometimes, but since I've been walking and doing some exercises and stuff, I don't wheeze as much. But I'm not going to claim anything really tremendously bad. I ain't, I ain't claiming that, you know, and I've never been diagnosed with anything. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that I never do. I hope I live to be Pam Mama age. I think Pam Mama was like 80 something. So she did good. And I hope I live to be past that. You know what I'm saying? I, that's why I try to take care of myself. I don't smoke. I drink a little bit every now and then. I drink me something. But for that, I'm good, y'all. And I will see you guys. I just want to come and let y'all know, you know, what was going on with my cousin. She did pass away. And I will see you guys on the next video. And I love you guys. I love the ones that love me. I really do. And I appreciate y'all support and being here for me. And I will get back with you on another video.